Like, when they leave, wow. the rest of us are like, Ugh, aren't you happy to go back to just being regular? <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, it's funny because, you know, like you say, it's this great gig, and it is, it's an amazing gig. But I, I'm not going to be, you know, those are the movie stars that are in the film. They'll be treated like movie stars, and I'll just be another actor, which is all I want to be. I just want to be employed. Yeah. And as soon as this gig ends after the 25th of April, I'll be flying back to L.A. and searching for another job. You know, it's not like they'll yeah. pop up. I'm sure Sophia doesn't have to really search anymore. <laughs> they probably just pop out of the sky for it. Yeah, well, um, I mean, there's different there, There's different points in which that happens. You know what I mean? Like, And who knows? Right. Like, maybe you get a bunch here and there and, and, and you know, maybe gig to gig. I mean, but, but you still do it <laughs> because you care and because you're... You're exactly. driven to do that kind of thing. I mean, a lot of people um, wouldn't do it anymore if they didn't have people begging them to do it. So, right. you know, and that's all well and good. And a lot of them are just pretty people. And I'm not speaking for Sophia. I'm sure she's great at her craft or whatever. But I don't she's know a her. Very, she's a very funny woman. Sure. I mean, I think that, by the way, and I hear from the powers that be out there that I know that are there that say, all three of them are just really great people. Great. Yeah. Really nice people. And I'm, I always like to hear that. That's cool. That's well, great. That means you'll be able to have a good time and it won't just be a bunch of prima donna crap. No. it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, What I hear is it's not. And besides, Bob Moresco is, he's one of the greatest guys I've ever met in my life. You know, he's from, uh, he's, he's enough. He, he's the guy that you should interview. In fact, okay. you know, Bobby Moresco has a real storied history. He, you know, grew up on the west side in New York. Uh, he uh, grew up in a very tough neighborhood. His brothers were all part of, you know, they were all part of uh, that, the Westies in the, on the west side in New York. I don't know if you've ever heard of who they are. They were the Irish gang. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's the guy, seriously, he would be great to interview when he comes back at some point if he had an interest. He's really... He's, uh, you should Google him. Well, don't Google him now, though. <laughs> we're, we're exploding with interest. Anything. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, <laughs> I won't Google anything right now. I, my phone's on the other side of the room so that it doesn't buzz too much while you're on the phone <laughs> with us. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, well, I yes, any person that you would like to direct to us interviewing, we'll happy to, be happy to interview. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I re- it, it's really just a interesting to see you know the way people come at acting and and what influences them uh, to continue to do it um sometimes i i i like to because i do a lot of teaching i like to inspire people uh to know that there are lots of uh ups and downs and that you have to just keep loving it uh to keep moving forward with it so it's it's actually um Every time you, you'll be like, yeah, I just got to work hard again for another gig. I know that that's hard on you, and I know that that can be difficult sometimes, but I just it just makes me think you're a stronger person and then you're a, uh, you're a, a stronger actor uh, than some of the people who just get handed stuff. I mean, it's like anything. If you get handed something, you know, you're, you're not, you don't care about it as much. It's not as... Uh, it, it's not really something that that you that is hard won, and so it matters to you in a larger sense. You're going to do such a good job um, in this role and in any role that you get because you put so much effort into getting it. Well, well, that's true. But remember, you know, the people that have gotten success from the business, they just climbed the ladder and got to the point where they are. And I think it's great that they're there. You know, I mean, I it would be great to be offered things. You know, because that's the dream of. I think a lot of performers. So imagine if you could just keep doing the thing you love over and over again and people were throwing money at you. But I'm sure for any of them, you know, Sophia Bagar or Andy Garcia or Carl Urban, they all started out somewhere where they had to work their way up, you know. And uh, So I, I think it's great that they are movie stars. I think it's oh, really sure. cool. Your, your and, attitude and demeanor about the business is, uh, is very uplifting. Joe. And I can see where Amy gets it, because Amy's always been like that as well. Huh. Just, like, keeping her well, head Well, you know, the thing is, and I, I, I'm reminded of this from friends of mine that all feel this way. Most people that I spend time with out here that are actors, 
they're not the Hollywood type at all. They're not, they don't have that attitude. They're just regular, cool people. And it's like, you know, sometimes when people get a little older in this business, they start to bitch and complain and moan. Yeah. And I never do because I chose this. This is what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go into um, big business and make a lot of money in the corporate world, I could have done that. But I didn't want to. So if things get tough and I'm not always working and I'm looking for work and it's blah, 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 I just think, you know, I chose it. And I'm happy because I'm living the life that I want to live. And unfortunately for some people, that's not so true, you know? That's not true, too. I feel like a very lucky guy. There's a guy outside my window every day. I see him outside of my uh, living room window. He collects hands every day. And I look down at that guy and I think, wow. You know, that guy's always smiling. He's just collecting cans. He, I, he probably doesn't have a place to live. I'm oh. looking out my window saying, I got a place to live. I'm not rich, but, you know, so I, I feel very grateful for everything I have. Um, and uh, especially for Amy. Uh, you, so, you're bringing it in. That was nice. Like a good godfather. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, he's a quality <laughs> godfather. Yeah, he takes care of me. All right, you like that? He's like, yeah. he's like, my life is great, especially because of you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, Joe. Oh man, you know, on on such a sweet, uplifting note, I, I think I think we should wrap up the podcast because it it feels like it, that was such a lovely thing to hear you say and I hope that anybody who listens to this you know can can know that you know if they choose this career then they can they can stay positive they can they can be happy for the path that they're taking and uh, and keep their head up and uh, and the gigs will keep showing up and then eventually someone will fly them to Rome <laughs> and they get to uh, and they get to hang out with the Pope yeah well you know anyway I, I totally agree with Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, having me. It's been a pleasure, um, and uh, um, I love you. And uh, it, it's been great. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk like uh, soon. I'll, I'll give you a call before I leave for Rome. Yeah, give me a call if you if you get a chance before I'll, you head out, and uh, and then I'll call you. <laughs> we love I'll you too, Joe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> love you. Too. <laughs> Thanks so much, Joe. Yeah, you're great, man. All right, cool. And I'll uh, try to figure out. We need to figure out how to keep in touch while you're in Rome. I guess Facebook is still a thing. I don't know how the internet works in, in the uh, in other countries. Uh, there's an app. I'll, I'll I'll forward you this app. So okay. You can put on your. Yeah. Okay. Just because I'm thinking, you know, when I have this baby, I'd like you to see it. Maybe show a picture yes, of it to the Pope. <laughs> yeah. Can he, can he bless the picture? Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll go yes. and see if the Pope will bless it. Yay! <laughs> they can do a lot of things with the, with the Wi-Fi and, you know, 4G yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, they got 4G in Vatican City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, uh, Joe. Have a wonderful evening. All right, honey. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. I love you. you love later. you, too. Bye. 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 Thanks for listening to Yes But Why Podcast.